Thank you, Chair, for giving us the floor. Mr. Chair and distinguished delegates, on behalf of Secure World Foundation, I take this opportunity to present an update on the Foundation's work since June 2021 under the agenda item on ways and means of maintaining outer space for peaceful purposes. In June 2021, Secure World Foundation organized and hosted the third Summit for Space Sustainability, a three-day high-level virtual event focused on developing solutions for space sustainability. More than 500 people participated from all corners of the globe to discuss a range of economic, security, and environmental issues, and how space capabilities can be used to meet long-standing and emerging global challenges. This year, the 2022 Summit for Space Sustainability will be co-hosted with the UK Space Agency as an in-person event on the 22nd and 23rd of June at the Science Museum in London, England. We invite all delegations to attend. More information is available at the website swfsummit.org. Mr. Chairman, fundamental to maintaining outer space for peaceful purposes is the understanding of the norms and principles underpinning peaceful and sustainable activities in outer space. To this end, we continue to distribute copies of our handbook for new actors in space, a book covering fundamental aspects of international space law, national space policy and regulation, and responsible operational practices for new actors. In addition to the English language edition of the handbook, we have also published Chinese, French and Spanish language versions. All of these editions are available in PDF format for free download on our website at swfound.org slash handbook. Mr. Chairman, one of the ways and means of maintaining outer space for peaceful purposes is through capacity building to allow emerging space nations to develop their policy, regulatory, technical, and scientific capacity to explore and utilize outer space for peaceful purposes. Secure World Foundation is proud to continue our partnership with the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs as a co-funder, along with the governments of Belgium, Chile, Japan, and Luxembourg, of the Space Law for New Space Actors Legal Advisory Project. The Legal Advisory Project, which is organized and executed by UNUSA, offers UN member states tailored capacity building to facilitate their drafting of national space legislation and or national space policies in line with international space law and to promote the long-term sustainability of outer space activities. We look forward to future advisory service activities in furtherance of this project. Mr. Chairman, maintaining outer space for peaceful purposes requires keeping the space environment a safe and stable operating domain. This challenge must be faced in a truly international and cooperative manner. While normative development governing space activities will happen at the international multilateral level in COPUS and elsewhere in the UN system, New norms for space will also develop at the subnational level amongst industry groups, trade associations, and contracts between industrial partners. The overlapping of efforts amongst these various levels is inevitable, and it would be wrong to focus only on norm creation efforts in one particular level or forum. Rather, the challenge will be to ensure that these different fora are not working at cross purposes. All stakeholders should be cognizant of this reality. And this is one area where civil society organizations such as ours can play a bridging role to avoid fragmented or divergent governance of space activities. Lastly, we would like to reflect on the opportunity presented in the report of the UN Secretary General titled Our Common Agenda, with its call to strengthen governance of outer space as a globally shared domain. The report highlights the hazards posed by space debris and the growing congestion of outer space and calls for enhanced dialogue to strengthen the governance of space activities as one of the means of ensuring the peaceful, secure and sustainable use of outer space. To reflect the reality of developments in space, 
Such enhanced dialogues should include the voices of the commercial sector and civil society, which are becoming more prominent space actors. The Secretary General's report envisages a multi-stakeholder dialogue on art of space as part of a summit of the future that would bring together governments and leading space actors. The report specifically suggests that such a dialogue could seek high-level political agreement on the peaceful, secure, and sustainable use of outer space, move towards a global regime to coordinate space traffic, and agree on principles for the future governance of outer space activities. We believe that this proposed multi-stakeholder space dialogue as part of a summit for the future would be a very timely dialogue and could help shape the agenda of COPUS for years to come. We encourage the committee to view this proposed summit as an important opportunity for engagement with a much wider cross-section of the UN community that is not normally involved with space issues to raise awareness of the critical importance of the sustainability of space activities as one of the ways and means of maintaining outer space for peaceful purposes. Mr. Chairman and distinguished delegates, I would like to end my remarks by assuring you that the Secure World Foundation attaches great importance to the work of COPOS, and we stand ready to support this committee in whatever way we can. The role of non-governmental organizations, such as ours and the other permanent observers here at COPOS, remains a fundamental component of maintaining outer space for peaceful purposes. We are encouraged to see the continuing inclusion of civil society in many of the discussions and working groups here at COPOS, and we thank all of those who have acknowledged the role of civil society across the UN system. Mr. Chairman, thank you for giving us this opportunity to address the committee. We wish you all a very successful session. Thank you for your attention.